Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So we all are aware that OnePlus have started rolling out Oxygen OS 15 for OnePlus 12 and OnePlus 12R. Yesterday we did a video about OnePlus 12R, but that device had some missing features, which include some AI and other features. In this video, we'll be talking about Oxygen OS 15 and the new AI features, what OnePlus have introduced on OnePlus 12. I won't be redirecting you guys to watch that video of OnePlus 12R in which we have shown all the features of Oxygen OS 15. We'll talk about those features also, but for the users who have already watched that video, first we'll talk about the AI features and later on we'll move on to the other features. People who have watched that video, they can just watch the AI features which I'll be talking about them first and then can stop watching. So for OnePlus 12 users, this one video will explain everything about Oxygen OS 15. But guys, now before moving ahead on our channel, we have almost 85% of people who haven't subscribed, but they do watch our videos. Only 15% of people who watch have subscribed. So if you guys find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So here I have my OnePlus 12, which is running Oxygen OS 15 closed beta build. I did participate in the closed beta and it got approved. So if I go to about section and show you guys, here you can see Oxygen OS version is 15 and towards the right top corner, it also says closed beta and the version is dot two zero five and the Android security patch is of 5th October 2024. Also guys, I've been seeing a lot of users asking how to install it. So the installation process is quite easy. Make sure you are running the latest build of Oxygen OS 14 on your OnePlus 12 or 12R. After that, just go to the Oxygen OS updater application. And from here, tapping on settings under update method, select open beta full. You should see an update here. And if you don't see, just enable advanced mode. Later on, you can perform a local install by going to about section, tapping on these three dots. If you don't see local install option here, make sure you enable developer options. So right now you can see local install option is not available. If I go to version, tapping on the version seven times, you'll see a pop-up. After that, just go to about section, tap on these three dots and here you can see we have a local install option now available so this way you can install it on your device now let's talk about the ai features starting off with the camera and gallery they have also added a new feature called live photos which you can see here towards the top side we have an icon which is of live photos it's not an ai feature but yes i wanted to mention because this is not available on our oneplus 12r running oxygen os 15. so you can disable and you can enable it live photo is for three seconds here I have a photo and if you have enabled live photo, you just have to long press on it to see that live photo. Live photo is of three seconds and there's other option. You can see the live photo just by tapping this live photo icon, which is present towards the right top corner. So this is one feature what they have added. Now talking about the other features which are related to gallery or you can say photos application. So they have added multiple AI features here. So towards the left hand side, you can see there's an AI editor option tapping on it. Here we have few AI features. One is the AI detail boost, second AI eraser, this was already available on Oxygen OS 14. Then we have AI unblur and AI reflection eraser. I don't have much of photos to talk about, but I'll still show you guys some examples. So here I'll select this option, tapping on edit, tapping on AI editor, and let's try to boost the details. You have to agree to terms and conditions. Here you can see a preview how it works. So you can see the description which says enhance image clarity and sharpens details with AI. Tapping OK and here now AI will analyze the photo and try to boost the clarity and details. Though the images present on my device are already high quality, but yes, if you zoom in the photo, you can see a huge difference. I'm not sure if you guys are able to make out the difference in the video or not, but yes, there's a clear difference in the clarity and details. I'm not talking about the AI razor. Now moving on to the AI blur. So basically this unblurs the photo. And also if you see the description, it says remove motion blur from Snapchats. So currently on my device, there is no photo which is kind of slightly blur or something else, but we'll just take the same example of this photo and we'll see if any difference to be seen or not. So the photo was previously better compared to after we have used this AI unblur. And then we have the reflection eraser. So here we have a photo, I'll tap on edit. Here you can see a preview. If so, if you have any kind of reflections, that can be removed using the AI reflection eraser. We'll try to see if any reflections are removed from this photo or not. So slight reflection was there, which have been removed from this photo. You can see when I tap on compare. Another AI add-on is this context aware network services. So if you see the description, it says the service provider targets network optimization based on your surrounding. It identifies your surroundings such as concert venues or an island accordingly, according to your geographical location and optimizes your mobile network by reducing lag and disconnection. So basically it's another AI add-on which runs in the background. After that on OnePlus 12, we also have the circle to search feature. 
So if I long press on this navigation pill, you can see circle to search pops up and now I can search for anything just by circling it. So this was also an awaited feature on OnePlus smartphones and it's finally been added. And few AI features have also been added in the notes application. So if you have any note taken down in your notes application, you open that note towards the left hand side, you can see there's an icon tapping on it. You get AI assistant for notes which includes things like format. Then you have the cleanup, polish, continue writing, elaborate, shorten, formal and casual inputs. And let me show you how does it work. So here I have a note tapping on format. Now the AI will provide a proper version of the script which I have written here in the notes application. The same way you can also get the polished version of it just by tapping on polish. And here we have the polished version of the script which I had written down. Either I can copy it, I do have the options to refine it. And if I want to insert in the main script, I can do that. Or if I want to replace it with the main script, that can also be done. So these are the AI features what they have added. If I want a shortened version of it, I can just tap on shorten and I'll get the short version of the entire script which I have written. Other AI features are yet to be released like AI speak, AI write and other stuff. Those we'll get to see with the upcoming updates. So guys, these are the AI features. Now let's talk about the changes what Oxygen OS 15 brings on OnePlus 12. So one of the major change on Oxygen OS 15, what you'll notice and that's led to the animation part. Now Oxygen OS 15 prioritizes smooth user experience on OnePlus smartphones. The integration of new graphic engine enhances animation speed and stability ensuring fluid, app switching and multitasking even with demanding usage. The update also extends consistent swipe and scroll behaviors across all the application including third party applications. Furthermore, smoother animation have been implemented across a wider range of system elements such as widgets, folders and components. With no doubt, Oxygen OS 15 delivers a refined, faster and more polished user experience when it comes to animation part. Now let's talk about the lock screen customization. So a lot of users were waiting for the lock screen customizations, which now finally have been added by OnePlus. By the way, you cannot customize the lock screen by just long pressing on the lock screen. You need to go to the settings, wallpapers and style, and the lock screen customization part is called Flukes theme. It's a good add-on, but we don't have complete control over the text. So let's take an example of this theme itself. You can see now we have that depth effect in the text also, but anytime you can disable it. Towards the bottom side, you can see we have options like wallpaper style and depth. And we also have the options to customize the clock styles where you can add additional info like weather and the step counter. Though there are not much of options in terms of fonts layer to clock, but whatever they have given, these are the good ones. You can increase or decrease the size of the text. We do have color palettes towards the bottom side and if you want to increase or decrease the intensity of color, that option is also available. If you tap on text, you can see we have word art style. There are limited options available, only five options available on Oxygen OS 15. And here also you can make the changes in color and the intensity of colors. Talking about styling, here we have some patterns available. Around 9 to 10 patterns are available according to your requirement. You can set the pattern for the wallpapers. You also have the ability to adjust the blur intensity. And this is how the Flukes theme look whenever you apply it. It's not that eye pleasing. I can see slight lagginess here while unlocking the device or you know turning on the screen. But OnePlus have given an option to add the custom wallpaper which can be changed from here. OnePlus have bought a new set of wallpapers including Aerial View which have 4 wallpapers Light and shadow, this also have four wallpapers. Another change on the lock screen is layer to always on display. So if you want the always on display to match your Flukes theme, that option is also given here. And if you want the classic one, that can also be selected from here. The AOD which uses Flukes theme is called seamless. Other than that, we don't have any new AOD styles. We have the similar stuff, seven for system and six for personalized. Another thing on the lock screen is layer to fingerprint animation. So now we do have a new fingerprint animation on OnePlus smartphone called Hello. So these are the lock screen changes and now let's take a look at the changes what they have done on the home screen. So first layer to icons. Now we do have new set of icons. One of them is this shadow and the second one is this radiance. And this is how they look once you apply. I personally like the shadow one which gives this black background. Along with that we also have the new clock style with a different font. When it comes to home screen OnePlus have also given some options like you know advanced visual effects. So here you can adjust the blur effect for folders, notifications and control center. I always prefer good amount of blur effect so I keep it enabled. If you guys don't want you can disable it but for me I prefer blur effect. 
So these are the changes on the home screen. And they have also done some changes in the volume sliders. So if you tap for the first time, the normal volume slider will pop up. Once you start increasing or decreasing the volume, you'll see a thinner line of volume slider compared to the previous one, wherein we used to see that thick line. Now moving on to the quick setting tiles. So here you can see a completely revamped quick setting tiles on Oxygen OS 15. And you can see that nice bounce effect and the opening transition, which is actually eye pleasing. But I would say OnePlus should have given an option to edit the quick setting tiles. I mean to resize the quick setting tiles. That option is not present on OnePlus smartphone or you can say Oxygen OS 15. We can just remove or add the quick setting tiles. But now quick setting tiles have these two styles. One is the split and the second one is classic. So if you are using the split one, if you slide from the right top corner, you'll see the control center. And if you swipe from the left side, you'll have the notification panel. So it will take some time to adjust for me also but good thing is oneplus have still given an option of the previous one which was classic wherein we have the option to see the notifications and control center at one page and one thing which a lot of users were waiting for and that's the easter egg support in the oneplus calculator application so previously on og oxygen os we had this option like whenever we used to type oneplus equals we used to see a easter egg of never settle and the same thing have been added on oxygen os 15. here you can see let me show you again if i type one plus equal the never settle easter egg pops up they have also added a new gesture which is floating windows gesture so if whenever any notification pops up you just swipe on the notification and that notification will open in the pop-up view and now privacy related we have another feature so whenever you long press or you know you try to turn off your phone here on the top side you will see a message you can locate this phone with find my device even when powered off so this is a nice security feature what they have added another security feature i'm not sure whether it was already there or not but in some applications you'll see this secure environmental icon on the right top corner let me close the app and show you guys now if i again open you'll see checking security secure environment so if any unwanted application which is not secure you'll see this green icon into red one thing which I did not like and that's the phone manager application what OnePlus have added. It's directly picked up from the color OS. I hope this gets removed in the future updates. In the app drawer, you won't see any kind of new changes or new implementations. Now let's go to settings page and here you can see a completely revamped settings page and this looks quite nice with this colorful icons towards the left hand side. Now we do have these more circular shapes instead of only those circular edges. And OnePlus have also bought back this feature called ultra anti flicker. It's something which we have seen on OG Oxygen OS named DC dimming and it's actually a good feature it reduces the screen flickering you guys must have seen sometimes recording a video with the smartphone you see such lines so this feature can be really helpful to reduce these types of flickering if you want standard anti flickering you can choose that or else we have a ultra anti flickering and this live capsule now also support multiple applications. right now you can see i have two applications one is the clock and the second one is spotify so at a time now you can have multiple application control in the live capsule and now sharing the files with the iphones have become more easy with this new feature called oneplus share so using this you can share the files with iphones or vice versa so guys these are all the features including ai features talking about the visual changes so for visual changes i'll drop a dedicated video doing a side by side comparison meanwhile if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below i'll try to answer all your questions so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day